welcome back. So, we shall move on to skills. Um, to attain skills. <gasps> How do you do this? The magical myth of extensive fucking writing and stuff. <laughs> so, um, first off, the GM needs to determine what um, profession level you want to uh, be at, as it says right here. Amateur, apprentice, journeyman, master, legend. Um, I highly suggest if you're just starting out, actually go with amateur, but also realize that that will make your character pretty underpowered, um, but that character will easily rise in the ranks, actual skill ranks, and also he'll be become pretty powerful pretty fast. Um, yeah. But I'm going to be going as an apprentice, which doubles the amount of skill points I get at character generation. This one. Right there. Right? Okay. So, I move on to, because I need to look at table one, four one, I'll explain this shortly. I'll just, I just need to go up here and edit. Uh, you do not use your baseline for this, you use your actual accumulated when you're done thing. That's why you need to do it in order. So, skill point per characteristic. That's just the, the, you know, the translation. Um, this means that I look at this one, and then I get these points. So for example, 17 strength means I get 9 points. So I usually do this, 9 points. All right. Uh, I actually know how, I know by heart all these, but I'll still do it correctly. Constitution, 16. Du, 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 eight plus eight. And then I saw fifteen, but I'm still gonna do it so you guys see what exactly what I'm doing. Fifteen. Fifteen. Another eight. Plus eight. Um, size nineteen. Ooh, this will be a high one. Du, 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 nineteen. Thirteen points. Holy shit. That's a lot of points. A lot of points already, and I've only used up four of my stats. Intelligence, perception, and will are all at 11. So I'll be able to do that and time it by three. So I'll do 11, 6, 6, 6, which is 18. Um, you'll just have to trust me on this. Plus 18. Boom. 56, and then I've got two more stats, which are pretty low. Spiritus and Charisma. Um, so, 7 is a 4, and the 5 gives me 3 for a total of 7 points, plus 7, All right? And then because I'm doing the Apprentice 1, I do times 2, 126 points. <laughs> das bist kleiner, actually a lot. So, <laughs> I'll do this. Um, skill point at character generation 126 um, but before I do any of this all right I need to apply this this thing right here all of the skills and stuff you get from your background need to be applied before any of this. Usually I do a background roll as well, but I omitted that because I'm dumb. So I'll be doing that now. Uh, that is not in the revised book, that is in the expert book. That is to help you. I'll only do one roll because... Um, no, you know what? I'll actually do it entirely as my group would do it. So what you do is you roll 2d100 um, read the table. I, you won't be able to see the table, obviously. Um, and then I pick one of them, and I do this three times. Uh, so 2d100. So 33 and 64. 33 is gambler. Um, 
I highly suggest you do this because this will probably be even before this. Gambler, which is three skill ranks in gambling, versus 64, which is uh, what the fuck? I actually need to think that's dexterous. Nimble fingered. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that one. Nimble fingered, which is three skill ranks in sleight of hand. Actually, steal object because sleight of hand is yeah. uh, perfect. That was my first roll. Then I'll do it again. A hundred versus an eighteen, and I know already what a hundred is. I'll re-roll that one because that is paralyzed, and I don't want to be paralyzed. So I'm doing this exactly like what my group would do it. So 18 versus 34. For 44, not 34. Uh, 18 is... Ooh, Sorcerer! <gasps> Ooh, Sorcerer! This means that I get 9 skill ranks to put in anything I feel is good. No. Um, to put in skills associated with a Sorcerer. This is actually a background package for me, right? So I, what I do now is I go back, if I want to use this one, uh, I go back, look at the class skill sorcerer, exactly like I did here, here, and I only get to pick between these ones that's already listed as a sorcerer. That's how easy that is. Um, and I get nine skill ranks, almost exactly like the background thing I did earlier. <laughs> um this is one of my players. <laughs> so or uh forty four, which is aha craftsman. Which is the same. Nine skill ranks in craftsman stuff. Right? Perfect. Um, um, this means that I will probably get a lot of skills. Uh, well, I do. I keep pointing to the screen. Um, I will probably pick craftsman because of my low magical power. I could go with this, but. <laughs> Because they don't only have skills. This is I could pick read. I could pick write. They're the same skill. Sorry. Uh, like uh, count. There's several different things I could pick instead of actual magic casting. It could mean that I had been an assistant to a sorcerer, so on and so forth. The same with craftsman. I don't have to pick craftsman skills. Well, I do, but you know, like actual hammer onto metal or carving into wood, I could pick things related to this. It, it Basically, I imagine them looking at something, looking at my class, and just picking up, because then you've got survival here as well, so I could pick survival and ride and quick draw. So I don't need to pick the actual, you get it. I'll do it too, so you'll, you'll actually be able to see it. Um, so, the last but not least important Oh shit! Mind for letters, actually. Hmm. Uh, three S R in every read write skill. Yes. Basically, um, this puts me at an advantage. I can just pick up any language, look at it for a while, and be able to read very poorly mind um, and understand the basic gist of the um, of whatever it is for example correspondence or reading and writing is a very powerful tool in Dungeons and Dragons because ah oh, sorry in Draken and Molnar, so Dragons and Demons um, because not everyone can read actually most people can't read um, or 66 which is, uh, huh, 
uh, enduring, I think, would be, um, uh, always plus three to any con roll when it comes to pushing yourself. Uh, for example, if I need to run for a long while, I am enduring. I will be going for mine for letters. So, what I would do now is basically um, mark the one that I feel I, I want. So I'm taking Craftsman as well. There we go. And mine for letters. There we go. Now, we'll go back down because I got 9 SR in Craftsman stuff. <laughs> Alright? and three skill ranks in every read write skill. So I'll do this because that means because I don't have it here not a single one of these they're tertiary. Right? I don't know what has happened here. I just pressed insert. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Perfect. So every read write skill. The base is intelligence. I know this for a fact. I think the cost is five even and I've got three. We'll double check the cost and all that, but yeah. And I got um I'm probably going to need to add a few to this add row below. Add row below. There we go. Uh now I've got nineteen skill ranks to place. I will place my background first. And I want hunt. Uh, that is intelligence as well. I'll double check this, but I just want to write it down. I don't know the cost, but I want uh, three skill ranks in that. That means I have seven left. I want winter skills. Pretty sure that's intelligence as well. So I'm going to type that down. And I want three in this one as well. It means I've still got six. I want survival. Forest. This means, see, I got it here as well, so I need to pick one here. And I'm going to pick, actually not, I'm going to pick forest up there and mountain down here. Aha! These are two different skills, you ask. And I say, yes, they are. Um, every different terrain is its own survival skill. And I want three in this one as well, just to make it easy. Do I? because that only leaves me with one point. So I'm going to go with two. And um, I want... I want two in forest as well. So I'll do this. Where was it? There. See? Easy as pie. Int. This is intelligence as well. Intelligence and dexterity are two characteristics that are very important if you want to have uh, a knowledgeable character and an agile one. So, now, nine skill ranks from the craftsman thingy. So we need to go back up here, and I think, there you go. There she blows. So, you've got craftsmanship, knowledge, skills, within uh, the own craftsmanship thingy, and uh, evaluate. But I don't need to pick any of these. I can pick any of these as well. Uh, which is administration, <laughs> forgery, another craftsmanship. Actually, they get six of them in total, but you know. Um, drive a cart, read and write uh, your mother tongue, navigate um, rope, the arts of rope, uh, rhetorics, and count. I want count. I can uh, I, I can get a maximum of a three in one skill on this. Five in the background, but only three in this. So I'm gonna pick count. Um, drive a cart and navigate. That's the one I want. And they all need to be added here because I don't have them. Um, in. Uh, Actually, it's more like math. Yeah, math is a better one. Drive cart, math, and what was the last one I wanted? Navigate. Navigate. Um, they're all intelligence, 
And luckily, I'm semi-retarded, so I don't think that's actually Dex, I'm pretty sure. Um, don't know the cost, but I wanted three in all of them. Um, see? Here we go. Now I am done with the background package thing. Um, and now I get to sk spend these points. And how do I spend them, you ask? Mm hmm. I go down to this little nifty list, which is humongous. Where is it? It has hidden for me. That is not it. It is even further down. Here we go. This is a very large list, as you can see. A lot of skills. A lot of skills. But seeing as if you use the archetypes, you don't need to go looking through this list. You just look at the corresponding uh, cost and base. That is basically the only thing you need to see. Um, and as you can see, I put it up in the same way as they did. All right. The only difference is it says Sharon Irkis Almen. And what that means for me is I need to know where that skill is corresponding on my skill list, where I put it on my skill list. For example, Disarm, is it a core skill for me? No. Is it a secondary one? Yes. All right. So, or Profession. So I, I find the corresponding cost, three, and the base, which is dexterity. This arm, dex, three. Dex, three. And then you've got um, draw of open, which is a uh, quick draw. Quick draw, dex, where is it in my list? It is a profession skill or a secondary skill. So it's dex and then two. And then you do this for all of them and I don't need to really explain this um, so I'll go back up to the core and just do it uh, silently. <sighs> You'll just be able to watch me do it. Dex plus uh, Dex plus strength divided by two, which is seventeen plus fifteen. Divided by two, so sixteen. This in this case, I actually type down the number when they're when they're mixed like this. That's entirely up to you, but I usually do this. Uh, and the cost was two. Weapon Master Ranged, I know for fact, is Dex and 3, and Melee is 2. I know this for fact, so I don't really care, and the same goes for this one. I can double check just for you guys. Vulpen Technique, Alveston's Vulpen, 3, Dex, Nashi's Vulpen, Melee, Dex, 2. Shell Technique, or Shield Mastery, or Shield Technique, actually. Uh, Dex, two. Hey, I know my game. So, lack of ethnoscope or healing. Int, three. Brawling or Slux mode. Dex plus well divided by two. So fifteen plus eleven divided by two. Thirteen. That is my max. That has another the skill ranks you have a base in brawling, because every human knows how to brawl. Um so we'll get to that one once we go through all of it. Two. Survival Forest. Survival Int. Three. And here we go again. I already know this. It's Dex and Dex and Dex. And it's four, three, three. But I'll just double check. Four, three, three. Here we go. 
I've now got my costs on my core, my profession skills. Now I need to do my general skills. But I usually, if I don't intend to increase these, which I don't, me personally, I don't intend to increase these, I don't need the cost right now. All right. If I, however, intend to use these a lot, I would write down the cost. If I was a player, I would write down the cost. Actually, you know what? Let's just type down the cost. Because <laughs> why not? Hunt fish int 4. Int 4. Got three skill ranks already. Winter skills. Winterfärdigheter. Int 4. Survival. Överlevnad. Int 4. Drive cart, shot of mine. Dex three. Math or rakna int five. Holy shit. Navigate or blip int four. There we go. So here comes the tricky part that most people feel is tricky. Um and that is spending your points. Because the thing is I'm gonna have to scroll back up to here. Yes. Uh, this is table 4 or 3. Skill points per skill rank. Um, I just screamed. I'm sorry. Um, you've got uh, budding knowledge. Uh, good knowledge, exquisite or excellent knowledge, expert knowledge, legendary knowledge. Right? Um, 1 to 7 means that you're an amateur. 1 to 7 means you're an amateur. You have some knowledge, but not a lot of knowledge. For example, if I, because I'm not going to pick swim now, I could have, I'm not going to, um, and if I don't, I don't know how to swim. If I don't have a 1 skill rank in swim, I don't. I don't know how to swim. I just don't. Um, and this character won't know how to swim. That is an active choice for me, uh, from me, or whatever you want to call it, because um, I'm a dick, and I want this guy to drown. No. <laughs> It's uh, mostly because um, I feel that makes it interesting because then he'll be afraid of water. Like, do we really need to get on this boat? Because he'll probably wear heavy armor and all that stuff, so he'll quite literally just sink and he won't know what to do. Um, which makes it a bit more depth-y for me. Um, but the thing here is, this is what makes it pretty wonky. And this is what can turn most people away from this system if they don't know what to do. And I understand completely. Trust me, I really do. We sat three hours yesterday just trying to make characters, and that was my fault. I should have just done this in advance uh, and created characters for them so they got to learn the system, but instead I'm doing this uh, after the fact. So what this means is from skill rank 1 to 7, the cost, the skill point cost, is times one. I will do a very simple calculation for you. I want to get up to seven in bodybuilding. So I just put that down there. Boom. I know I have the points because I've got 126. But now I need to count. Actually, I don't know that I got the points, but I know because I've got 126 points. But that means I look at the cost and how many skill ranks I want. I want seven skill ranks. That means seven right? Times what? If you look at this, times one of the cost. Scale point cost times one, all right? So I go back here, seven times two. Fourteen points. I should start another calculator. I don't know if, if that's possible. Yes, ha <laughs> ha So, 126, negative 14. 112. All right. You're still with me? That's good. I want to get to 6 um, in armor use. This actually means it, I could have as easily have written skill rank here as well. Uh, we'll get there if I do a game thingy. This is just how to create your character. You'll have to listen to me talk more in person. But yeah, I want to get there. So that is 6 times what? 2. 2, it's 2. Um, 12. Got 100 points left. And I, I want this guy to be 
a big burly dude, but I want him to use I want him to use axes and a shield, I think. That's what I want. All right. So I pick one-handed axes. All right? One-handed axes cuz two-handed axes you can't have a shield. You need to wear it on your head and that makes it hard. Uh, and I want medium shields. I don't want heavy shields. I could go for heavy shields, but I want medium shields. Um, because I feel that's cooler. No, I don't know. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, because then you've got light and heavy here. Alright, that's how this works. I'm not going to type all the weapon groups, but there's a lot of weapon groups. And I want him to be able to use a... No, ordinary bow or crossbow? Mm, I think I want to go with ordinary bow. There you go. Um, I want this guy to be a good fighter, and I said I wanted to make him a physical fighter, which he already is, and that's also why I put in bodybuilding, and armor. Alright, so he's going to be an armor-wearing burly dude with a hopefully an axe and a, sh and a shield. Um... So I want to put five, I'm going to go even lower, three in bow, uh, which puts this to three times what? The cost? Three. Boom. Nine. Negative nine. All right. But I want this guy to be really good with the axe. I'm going to put eight. That's not really good, but I, I still want this guy to actually have some professional skills as well. Uh, so eight. Which means eight times two? No. Ha ha ha. It is the eight point will cost twice the cost. No, you say this is so complicated. And yes, it is. It is actually unnecessary compli unnecessarily complicated, but that's how it works. So I'll do the same I did up here. Seven times what? The cost? Two? Boom, 14, negative 14. But then, for the eighth point, I need to pay what? Times two. So, the cost is now, I'll do this overly uh, educational, two times two, it's four. So, for one skill rank, that's four points. So, one times four, four. So, negative 4. But, no, you know what? I want to go for 10. Because I want to make this an educational piece. So that means I've already removed 1. So I just added 2 more. So that's 2 times 4. Another 8 points. So negative 8. It works out. And it checks out. Because I'm cool. And I want 5 in shields because I want this guy to be a better fighter with an axe. For example, if he loses the shield now, he'll still be good with an axe. You can balance this, but I don't want to because I don't like myself. That means I'm I'm stuck with, or stuck, I still have 55 points left once I'm done with buying these core skills. Um, I now want this guy to be... I want him to be able to ride. Haha. Uh -huh. So I put a 5 in there. That's another 10. I'm not going to, yeah. There we go. Um, and I don't want to increase this one, but I do think I want to be able to fight with, so we'll add one more below. Um, weapon mastery, melee weapon, one-handed swords as well. Uh, this is three and dex, and I want him to be pretty good at this, actually. This will cost me a lot of points, I know, but that is something I accept. Alright, so it's seven times three, 21. And then it's three times two, six times one, six. So another negative six. We've got 18 points left now. Alright, good. Uh, and I want to get up to, so I'm going to go with 6 in healing here, because I can only go up to 7, and that should end the spending spree. So, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 
negative 18 is 0. I got 0 left. All spent. Um, this means that I cannot, I, I can't brawl <laughs> because it is, um, it, this has a base, but I'll, I won't do that now. Uh, my players will get to ask me about this. Um, but it's in the book. Um, and, uh, yeah. And now, if I want to go higher than this, say I want to, example, I feel like, nah, you know what? I don't want to be able to, to ride. Blip. They're gone. Oh my god, no. That means I get plus 10. Ah, no. And then I want to go higher than 6 here. But see, it only says up to 6. That means I need to put it down here. Oh no, I'm already at 6 automatically because this is basically the same scale. I just need to keep doing it over here. I do this. Aha. Uh -huh. So 1 times 3 is 3, negative 3, puts it up to 7, but then I want one more. I want to put it, one more. God damn good in there. So, 3 times 2 equals to 6, and I want one rank. So times 1, 6, negative 6, one point left. This, I can't really put anywhere, because nothing has a cost of 1, but if I did, for example, if this was Weapon Master and it had a cost of 1, I'd be able to increase that to 4. Um, and that basically concludes um, how to create characters and your skills. Um, yeah. That's done. Uh, the last part will be how you place your combat capabilities and how to include your weapon scores and stuff.